have seen in downtown Boston today and this scare only heightened by what's been happening in California and tonight we have the first video of the man who was arrested in this bomb hoax after he left a suitcase next to a Homeland Security vehicle according to the feds. Katie Brace is working this story. She's live in Boston for us tonight. Katie. And David, police arrested the man, like you said, accused of leaving a suitcase by Homeland Security. It was left right by that fire hydrant, and this basically shut down the area here by Atlantic Avenue because officers did not know if there was a bomb inside that suitcase. Well, as soon as they released photos of the guy who left the suitcase, a 911 call led to an arrest. Is there anything you'd like to say to the people of Boston? James Derpetney said nothing as officers led him away. A Lawrence police officer arrested him shortly after the surveillance picture was made public. Maybe about five or ten minutes later, we received a 911 call that someone had seen the subject in the area. In the morning, the bomb squad and SWAT team shut down Boston's financial district for a scare caused by this suitcase left behind a Homeland Security vehicle and by the department's offices. They x-rayed it. They seen some components inside, some wires and, and a power source. And at that time, they took a step back. We got our robot in there. Investigators blew up the suitcase and found it was harmless. They still wanted to talk with the man seen on video about his intentions. Officer Harold Rogers responded to the 911 Call tipping police off that Derpetney was walking along a Lawrence Street. Took him into custody at gunpoint. No comment. And he said, I'm not going to say anything without a lawyer. And he didn't. He didn't. He was talking about the weather. Police say the 50 year old is homeless and has a prior criminal record, but nothing reaching the level of today's scare. I was a little shocked that, uh, you know, someone would, would do something, especially in, in the, the, the environment that we've been dealing with lately, that some would cause this kind of uh, anxiety and distress. And officers say Deputney did have mental health issues. He is now charged here in Boston with planting a hoax device. Reporting live in Boston, Katie Brace, WBZ News.